What is the relevance and the future of Excel VBA looking as of summer 2022? How relevant is VBA for Excel for you? And should you learn it? I'm going to give you my relatively unqualified opinion today about this. I have been a freelance controller since 1998. I'm going to talk about my experiences with VBA and I'm going to give you my assessment of the relevance and future of it and I'm going to explain the reasons why I see it that way. In the end of course I'm going to answer the most important question how relevant is Excel VBA for you and should you learn it? So first of all, why am I saying I'm not really qualified? Well, that's sort of a joke and sort of not. The thing is, I've been doing this since almost for almost 25 years now and I haven't encountered many VBA projects. It is not that widely used, at least not in the controlling scenarios that I found myself in and I've been in over 50 projects. So it, yeah, it is not that widely used. When I think back, I've encountered VBA for Excel three times and uh, VBA for MS Access once in actual practical controlling settings in companies. There actually is even a VBA for MS Word. I've never heard of anyone using it. I've never used it. So is that actually a thing in practice? Anybody know something? Tell me in the comments. I have um, encountered VBA for access in a sales database in a smaller division of a big company. But from all that I could see, that VBA code was finally completely tossed and none of it was used and all the functions in Access were done in other ways. Then I saw VBA in Excel used in a tool that analyzed the return on investment on specific marketing campaigns where people had written some quite sophisticated VBA but not documented a single line as you sometimes have it and then I was called in to document what the code was actually doing, what the whole tool was doing. I wrote a documentation about it that went to IT and to sales. So I didn't have to code myself, I just had to analyze the code that was there which was not too difficult, that took me I think like a week. Then I had some giant Excel sheets where beautifully every year had a different format which I was supposed to get into an Access database. I had to transform the data in a way that could not simply be done with mTrans or just simple drag and drop and that was before the Power Query editor was really a thing. So I had a bit of help from the uh, Excel and Access group on Xing which is like the German LinkedIn or was like the German LinkedIn. And together we wrote code which I then had to adapt for each new Excel workbook every year because the formats kept changing. Myself, I coded a thing where uh, data were coming out of a cash register report and they were not in the format that was needed for the accounting program, the accounting software and you, also that you couldn't actually do with drag and drop and again Power Query wasn't really a thing yet so I wrote uh, a page, two pages of code that transformed the data in the necessary way. But other than that I've heard of big projects using VBA for Excel but I haven't seen much in practice. I mean not beyond the things I just told you. In every case everything else was done. The, if there was data transformation needed that was done before the data went into Excel or it was done with drag and drop or later now it's a lot is done with a Power Query Editor or Power Pivot. Now I think that way over 50 projects in, in 24 years are sort of representative statistically so probably VBA is not that much used. From what I have seen in Excel VBA I would say it's extremely versatile, it is extremely well thought out by people who really know what they're doing and who really clearly have thought about the program but the documentation isn't so super. I mean you have some, some lines that are commands, you have a lot of different variables, you have a lot of specific functions and you know, first I would like to have an overview. What is a command? What is a function? What does this do? What does that do? There is a reference on the Microsoft website of course 
but that documentation I don't find too helpful. You have a programming language like Python where you have, I don't know how many commands, maybe a hundred or less. I mean, at least the ones that you use on a regular basis aren't that many. But VBA has so many different commands and functions and so many possibilities to to do things and to automize things that I don't, I wouldn't even know where to begin if I wanted, if I was serious about learning it, I wouldn't know where to start. As a controller, at some point you come to the crossroads, well, do I study VBA in depth or not? And I tried studying it on Udemy, but even the courses there, they tell you like for the 25th time how you color a cell or how you define a certain format or how you shuffle data from here to there. But the stuff that you actually do need every day, like you have to read in long, long, long tables and find out which is the last line. And then you have to give that answer of how many lines to another loop function and so forth. And that is, I mean, in all the courses, I've tried 10 different courses and I've also watched a lot of YouTube videos about it and I haven't seen a single video explaining stuff that you actually need in practical projects. Therefore, with a little bit that I did do, I had to resort to Googling forums and finding people on LinkedIn who knew about the stuff and who were willing to share some of their knowledge. I bought some books and what appears to be very unusual these days, I actually read the books and worked through them. And again, there was a lot of fancy stuff in it, but not too much that was use usable for actual practical projects. Many problems, many tasks already could be solved without VBA 20 years ago. And it's getting more and more that you can do without using VBA. You can use Power Query, Power Pivot. You can use Python and Excel wings and um, shuffle data back and forth with Python pandas and so forth. I hardly see any need for Excel VBA. For the most part, there are not many real uses of VBA in real business settings. However, there are some of these super old legacy Excel workbooks where a small company grew bigger and bigger and bigger and the Excel workbook grew with them instead of shifting it maybe to a different application where it makes more sense to shuffle about big data. But then you have these giant workbooks that take 10 minutes to load on a modern computer and just they just keep expanding and expanding and expanding instead of changing the applications. And on occasion, it will happen that there are some business critical VBA functions in it. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. My conclusion is that little bit of Excel VBA that is in use will probably fade out and will be replaced by all sorts of other function. A lot of it is being replaced by Python at the moment. The old projects, those very old giant workbooks will probably live on for a while, but at some point they are probably also going to die out. There have been some rumors of VBA being completely discontinued. That's probably not going to happen soon. Maybe 2035 or so it will be gone, but until then it will probably stay around to some extent, but it will become a smaller and smaller field. There is a small part of VBA that works well with calling functions in Python Excel wings. So that might stay around for a bit longer. Now, probably the most important question for you, should you study, should you learn Excel VBA? To most relevant questions, my answer is yes and no. If you can become a really good specialist, if you can really, really do it very, very well and in depth, you will be one of the first people who are sought after if there is an Excel VBA problem. Although it won't be many because there are not, not too many applications, but if there is a problem, companies will be looking for somebody who can really do it. And sometimes on occasion, old projects will need rescuing. On the other hand, not many specialists will probably be needed. 
and the most data management goals can be achieved without VBA and you can shift it from VBA to other things. In most cases, the workflow in the, in the company will not be killed by that. If you shift it, if you shift it uh, in, in several steps, it will not annihilate the company. It will be doable. So yeah, if you already know VBA, keep that up. And if you can become one of the the uh, world's best specialists that are sought after, you will probably not starve in the next 10 years. But other than that, I don't see too much potential for it. In any case, to all of you, best of luck and Godspeed. <laughs>